Today I want to talk about why when you lose one of your engines in a twin engine airplane you lose more than 50% of your rate of climb capability. To do this we're going to start out by working out an equation and the equation looks something like this. Loss of performance equals 100 minus your single engine climb capacity or rather your single engine climb rate divided by your uh, dual engine climb rate so both engine climb and that number times 100 well, we can figure out both of these by using some tables. Let's do that now. Uh, to begin with, we'll work out the uh, climb rate with both engines operating. Let's say it's a standard day, so 15 degrees Celsius, which is right here. And we'll say that we're at 1,000 feet pressure altitude, right about here. And we'll draw this line across to about there. 3,800 pounds, I just picked that number at random. We'll follow it down, and so we're right about here. Now let's see. Uh, 0 to 500, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we've got 10 increments equals 500 feet, uh, so that means that each increment is 50 feet. So we're at 1,000, uh, 1,050, uh, 1, excuse me, um, 1100, 1150, 1200, and about 1250, looks like. So, 1250 feet per minute when you've got both engines operating. Cool. That means that we can uh, write up our equation here. So, loss of performance equals 100 minus uh, something divided by something times 100. All right, and we figured out that our both engine climb rate is 1,250 feet per minute. Feet per minute. All right, and so now we'll do the same thing for a single engine. We'll say again the same temperature, uh, 15 degrees Celsius. We'll come up to 1,000 feet pressure altitude, and we'll draw that across to 3,800 pounds. 3,800 pounds will come down. Now this time uh, we've got 0 to 200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so we've got 10 increments between 0 and 200, which means each increment is 20. So 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, looks like about 150. So it looks like about uh, 150 feet per minute rate of climb uh, on a single engine. So, there we go, single engine climb is 150 feet per minute. Uh, now let's figure this out. 100 minus 150 divided by 1250 times 100. Well, luckily, we've got a calculator here, and we can figure it out. 100, uh, memory, and then let's see, 150, uh, divided by uh, 1250 equals 0 0.12 times 100 equals 12. Okay, so 100 minus 12, um, I screwed that up, but oh well. 100 minus 12 equals 88. So what that means is your loss of performance is a whopping 88 percent just by losing one engine which is a lot now why is that the case well we can say uh, we'll start out by uh, illustrating an airplane so we'll draw the airplane right here same airplane as always we've got a wing and there we go. 
Uh, the four forces of flight are obviously thrust, which we don't care about right now, uh, drag, which we don't care about right now, lift, which we care very much about right now, and weight. Uh, obviously that opposes lift. So, what you have here is you have a particular amount of lift, which is being generated by the wing. Uh, you need a certain amount of thrust in order to generate that lift, but for now, we'll say that uh, the engine um, is is immaterial. We'll talk just about lift. Uh, so, you have a particular amount of weight that you need to overcome with lift in order to get the airplane to climb. So, how much lift do we have right here, or rather, how much excess lift do we have? Well, in this case, it looks like we've got quite a lot in fact. Uh, let's see if I can copy that and paste. Well hey look at that, we've got uh, almost enough lift to lift the airplane twice which is pretty cool and that's about right. So we'll put this guy back where he belongs uh, at the bottom of the... Oh, try again. One more time. There we go. Okay, good. Now, let's say that you lose an engine, and so you lose half your lift. Bummer. Well, if you lose half your lift, uh, just eyeballing it, let's use a different color there. Uh, just eyeballing, say about half, looks to be about there, probably. Eh, probably something like that. So, let's say it's about, right about there. Now let's see how well we did say that this amount of lift that you have right here goes away. And, hey, we didn't do too bad. Alright, that amount of lift is now gone. And we'll cross it out even because uh, we don't have access to it anymore. So, gone. Now, the lift that you are left with is uh, this much right there. Now, you still have to oppose the weight of the aircraft. So let's see how much lift we still have remaining to oppose the weight of the aircraft now. In this case we have practically none. And in fact if you look very closely what you'll see is you'll see that the amount of lift we have remaining in order to climb is only about that much right there. That right there is excess lift. Uh, let's do that in a different color. There we go. That guy right there is excess lift on a single engine. This is how much lift you have available to climb. All of this lift right here is being used up compensating for the amount of weight that you have. This lift right here is the amount that you have to climb, which is not very much. When you had this guy over here, uh, when you had all of this remaining lift from having your other engine operating, you were able to climb at a much greater rate because most of your lift um, from the second engine went directly into climb performance. In this case, because you have to get the airplane off the ground, you have to keep it flying, you have to oppose weight, you have very little lift remaining uh, with which to actually make the airplane climb. Most of it is being used just to keep the airplane from descending. So, uh, that's why when you lose one engine, you lose more than 50% of your lift capacity. In fact, you lose in the PA44 about 88%. That's all. Um, see ya.